Even though the Elmont is one of the newer ecosystems in the camera world, it's definitely become one of the most extensive systems to invest in. It feels like a long time ago since Jared Polin was making fun of the Elmont Alliance, but of course, in the last few years, Panasonic and Sigma have done a brilliant job of making a wide selection of lenses that cover every single focal range. But even though there are so many lenses available now for the L-mount, I still think there's one lens that is still fundamental and missing from this ecosystem. Before we get into this topic, pause this video and comment down below with the lens that you think I'm referring to. So here's a spreadsheet I made with all the lenses available currently for the L-mount, and this doesn't even include cine lenses or APS-C lenses. So as you can see, we truly have a lot of options to choose from. And for the very small amount of people that still complain that there's a lack of lenses for the L-mount, get in touch and I will send you this spreadsheet so you can look through it yourself. Circling back to the actual topic of this video though, there is one lens that is still yet to be seen for this system, and in my opinion, it's a really obvious one. So the lens that I think is missing, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will agree with me, is the 16-35 f2.8. Of course, we do have the 16-35 f4s Pro lens from Panasonic, and that's fantastic. I've raved about it a lot, but of course, it's only f4, so for some people, it leaves a lot to be desired. And then we do have the 18mm f1.8, uh, which is one of the f series primes from Panasonic and that's a really great lens it stops down to f1.8 lets in loads of light and it's genuinely one of my most uh, used and favorite lenses for the Elmont ecosystem but of course it's a prime lens so therefore isn't as versatile as a zoom lens would be so I think the closest lens that we actually have in the Elmont ecosystem to a 16 to 35 f2.8 would be the Sigma 16 to 28 f2.8 but let me tell you the difference between 28 millimeters and 35 millimeters is actually quite large so my big question is, where is the 6-35 f2.8 in this lineup? Are we going to get one? And would people be interested in seeing one? Because I know personally, I'd absolutely love to have a 2.8 version of the 16-35 in the S-Pro lineup. And I'm sure it'll be a very popular lens for a lot of shooters out there as well. Sony have the 16-35 f2.8 G Master. And then Canon have the RF 15-35 f2.8 that gives an extra millimeter on the wider end in exchange for the price of your kidney, of course. And then the closest that Nikon come with this is with their 14-35. 24mm f2.8, but we already have one loads for the L mount, and that is the Sigma 14-24mm f2.8. So realistically, still not a 16-35. Of course, just to clarify, I know it's not a huge deal to be missing a 16-35 f2.8 in this system, since we do already have so many lenses that can cover that space for us. Um, like I said, we have the 18mm f1.8 from Panasonic, we have the Sigma 16-28, we have the Panasonic 16-35, we also have the Sigma 14-24. So there's a lot out there already that sort of fills that gap for us but that's not to say that it wouldn't be absolutely fantastic to see a 2.8 version of the 60 to 35 s pro lens and i'm sure that if panasonic were to make that lens then a lot of us would definitely be interested in buying it the real question is though how much would it cost well the sony g master is around two thousand pounds and then the 15 to 35 that's about two thousand seven hundred pounds which is ridiculously overpriced um so i think that i'd sort of put it somewhere around the sort of two thousand pound region maybe a little bit less than that Maybe I say if Panasonic made a lens like that for about £1,800, it would definitely be one of the most popular lenses um, available for the Elman, at least from what I can see anyway. I just know that that focal range is very useful for a lot of applications. And then in my mind, the holy trilogy of zoom lenses would be the 16-35 f2.8, the 24-70 f2.8, and the 70-200 f2.8. And of course, we already have the latter in the S-Pro lineup. So it'll be quite nice just to see the 2.8 version creep into that 16-35 too. Um, so yeah, anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Would you buy this lens? Are there any lenses in the L-Mount that you would like to see? If you guys were interested in knowing a little bit more about my most used lenses for the Elmont ecosystem, then definitely watch this video because I go through my three most used lenses that are always in my camera bag and ultimately it could help you with your next buying decision.